Chief Minister Birain proposes ring road flyovers to ease traffic congestion at a review meeting of national highway projects. Health Minister Jayanta Kumar lays foundation stone for the first ever homeopathy college in Manipur. RIMS Director Professor Shanta says a fee for some investigations like CT scan, MRI will be reduced up to 50%. Three cadres of United Naga People Council, Chingtam Liberation Army, allegedly involved in Modbung kidnapping, arrested. And home team Neroka FC and Giants East Bengal drawn 1 1 in a match of Hero I League at Kumalampa. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Ruisham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nong Thong Bambirin had proposed a ring road around Imphal. Construction of two to three flyovers underpasses to ease traffic congestion in Imphal area. Chief Minister Birin, along with the Works Minister Thongam Biswajit, attended the review meeting of National Highways Project of North East State. The meeting presided over by Union Minister for Road, Transport and Highways, Nitin Gadkari, was held yesterday at Kaziranga in Assam. All the national highway projects were thoroughly reviewed during the meeting. Sources said that Nitin Gadkari assured that there will be no shortage of funds for the road construction in the region. Chief Minister Biren also requested to extend the Imphal Juratantpur Singhat National Highway up to Behang. He also requested for early handing over of more National Highway Developmental Works to State PWD. The Union Minister gave a positive response to his proposals and also authorized the Chief Minister to directly review NHIDCL projects with their engineers to expedite the projects. Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jenta Kumar today laid the foundation stone for the first uh, homeopathy medical college in the state at Lumfield Park today. Speaking on the occasion, the minister asked uh, those in medical profession to work with sincerity and understanding the value of human life. He said people have developed an interest for homeopathy for its uh, unique method of treatment and cost effectiveness. The minister said it is a time to develop Ayush when there is trust from both the centre and the state government to provide medical care to the people. He said it is a proud moment for the people of the state and the government as the first step towards establishing a homeopathy medical college has been taken today. The minister also stressed the need for raising awareness to the people regarding the Ayush treatment. He said the functionality of the hospital cannot be maintained by just the ministers, MLAs and officials of the department. He also appeals for people's support to make the hospital a success. Director of Ayush, Director Dr. A. Guneshwar said the day will be remembered in the history of Manipur. Former Minister Dr. M. Nara, Vice-Chancellor of CAU Imphal, Professor M. Premjit and officials of Medical Department attended the event. Rather complementary to each other. How you both the subjects, Mase, both the sciences, Mase, can have to agree. Me, we can now fund by this name. Amazon Nari, with the command together, Panopi by the animal duty, or even in animal objective, or even in a Mase, rather complementary in high military by better. A poor year, I emotion die, nursing die in a high pumps. Yes, me, even eh? Me, I say by nature, cause a land gale, Amazon lunch, landing gale. But the other thing, we have when you deal with your patients, mother Nangi, you diligently deal to go to the section to go to the owner to know whether because of your negligence, can I come to the No, there's no word, sorry, have a way later. 
Director of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, RIMS, Professor A. Shanta, has announced that the charges for various diagnosis investigations at the RIMS hospital will be free of cost and the charges for CT scan, NCCT brain, MRI, ESW, U, first session and lepacro laparoscopic uh, procedure will be reduced up to 50%. Professor A. Shanta announced this at the press meet at the RIMS Jubilee Hall. He said the proposal with a 31 agenda for reducing rates of various diagnoses investigation was approved by Standing Finance Committee at its meeting at Nirmal Bhavan, New Delhi. He said the diagnosis and investigation will be free of course for patients under BPL category and patients in RIMS general wards. Professor Santa said the equipments for MRI, mammography, urology and necessary equipments in other departments will also be increased by five times. According to the reduced rates of investigation announced by the director, the rate for CT scan has been reduced from 1,000 rupees to 200 rupees. MRI per part of body has been reduced from 3,500 to 2,500 rupees. ESWU from 10,000 to 4,700 rupees, while laparoscopic procedure has been reduced from 5,000 to 2,500 rupees. The director also announced that seven pay commission has been implemented at RIMS. The consolidated pay of the contract staff in the institute has been increased and the stipend of clinical psychology MPhil students has also been increased to 25,000 per month. In patient lady me am sick test me as a low in a free doctor was in her. Carry you know the 57 test the government of Manipuna sponsor to a free worker near Lemo River. No good test. A quick no good test with the am absolutely a quick test is a Changa home ceremony. Happy me am said the low in a free one to over. Private what put it in charge of any. A quick the Aring Iron budget is now over the Venice. You have the hundred years of casual equipment. Is he a category? Miss a queen labor the least around college like the interior, then an infusion from ventilator. A quiz like a manga lame is a quick control. Color can enter with this. A quick RCC reasoning cancer, a tacity cancer center and on to one. What do you give forty five crores? You are a piggy processor. A queen of home of the Aquiji patients. You am the Anina the same way. A quick. A combined charge in Fall East Commando Inspector Luntang Waipei and Officer in Charge Kangkokpi Police Inspector J.K. Haukip and 26 Assam Rifles arrested the three cadres of United Naga People Council, a Qingtam Liberation Army, who were allegedly involved in the kidnapping of Adako Mao, a truck driver from Modbung. They were arrested yesterday during a search operation in Lamlai and Mantripukri areas. The cadres arrested are identified as Lamgaulun Misao alias Paul Neo Misao, 30 years, a son of late Kamsai Misao from Tolbung Matayeng village in Chiratanpur district. Morang Tem Bungocha Mite, 30 years, son of late M. Ingo from Thamnapokpi Mayailekai and Ridimson Muiva alias Bruce Lee, 21 years, son of late Kaningkai Muiva from Yangang Pokpi Muire in Ukrul district. Lamgaulan Misao is serving as PRO in charge of the outfit for Hills area. Mungocha is serving as PRO in charge of the outfit for Valley areas. A 9mm pistol, 5 bullets, 1 magazine, of, uh, 4 mobile phones with SIM cards and a red color Honda Dio with a registration number MN01 5E0213 were seized from them. The arrested cadres and the seized items were displayed before the media persons at the office of SP Imphal East this morning. Addressing media persons, Imphal East uh, SP Kabib Keset acting on a tip-off regarding presence of cadres of a hill-based outfit in Lamlai area. Such operations were carried out under the supervision of additional SP Imphal East Umpam Kasar by additional SP Kangkokpi Laiboy Lai Haukip. Deputy SP Imphal East Commando Robinson Kamnam and Deputy SP Imphal East RK Saklemba and arrested the cadres. The arrested cadres and seized items were handed over to Lamlai Police Station for further investigations. We suspect that uh, this weapon and the vehicle is used for that uh, kidnapping of that driver also. You may remember that kidnapping incident was published in today's newspaper also. And uh, people were about to go for some blockade in the national highway. But fortunately, yesterday operation coincided that the group whom we picked up is the one involved and the driver was also compelled to be released. So all these arrested persons and the record items will be handed over to Lamlai police station.
for taking up necessary legal action but the information is also passed on to Sapparmaina police station for further action because uh, they are involved in the kidnapping cases. A combined team of uh, Paugak Chow Ikai Police Station and Bishnupur Commando arrested two persons with more than 1,600 tablets of world is yours in different places of Kwakta in Bishnupur district yesterday. The arrested persons are identified as Muhammad Hassan, 35 years, son of Muhammad Abdul Samad from Kwakta Kuma, Watts No. 1, and Muhammad Arif Khan, 24 years, son of Zamir Khan from Kwakta Kuman, Watts No. 5. They were handed over to Moirang Police Station for further investigations. SP Technopol Dr. S. Ibomcha halted Myanmar authority trying to level the no man's land using JCB near Indo Myanmar Gate No. 2 Namphalong Market and Prem Nagar Lekai More Watch No. 4 today. Myanmar authority had earlier halted when people from the Indian territory tried to clean the piled up waste in the no man's land near Indo Myanmar Friendship Gate No. 2. A team led by O.C. Moray H. Chauba, under the instruction of S.P. Bomcha, stopped the Myanmar authority. President of Mite Council Moray M. Toiba urged the Myanmar authorities to take up the task only after an understanding is reached between the two countries. He also appeals to the state government to look into the matter at the earliest. <laughs> Menmagi, Matong Tabo Togokida, Langan, the Tamil Topa, Amadi, Lariba, Seminada, Equigi, Naibe, Equigo, Toritina, Kemda Pepita by Vise, Equimang Live Tivani, Masi Atuva Matamda, Manipur, Langan, and Mia Zambidana, Toriba Toxi Ting View. Makono Toriba Leveling, Zeglo, Bakamo, Uchar Tabi, Panamalai, Uchar Tagi Targeti, Makuigilam, and the Swedish Maki claim that we never see Equigi Ting Nazabalai, Maramadana Masita Zayana, Tolotringida, Iran Tolotringida, Chap Sabi. At least 30 people, including children from Kiamgai Awang Laikai, were admitted to hospitals this afternoon after suffering from food poisoning, allegedly after consuming fermented soya bean hawaizar. 15 persons, including three children, were admitted at Jennings. Some of them have been discharged, and most of them are said to be out of danger. Some people with similar symptoms in the same locality are also admitted to public hospital and the Noor Hospital. According to Medical Superintendent of Jennings, Professor L. Ranbir, signs of phosphorus compound used in the preparation of Hawaizar is not found in the patients. He maintains that preservatives used in the preparation and lack of hygiene might have led to food poisoning. Ujiti chemical jam makan makan gigi china rabani na madu gigi chemical mayam do yaorga akoi na samba sheng daba na traga madu da akoi na para pumda kumta ba yao badagi madu orang kudra ina ayam ba koi sing nei magi layung mayam si yeng badi tin kangi hidak tu yao bagi akoi gigi sign di pang de akoi gigi put pojeni gigi type ta kal section daba hai kudra sing dagi di oi bham di thok terbaran de kali. Governor Dr. Najma Habtula has greeted the people of Manipur, especially the Zelengrong community, on the occasion of Gangai. In her message, Dr. Habtula wished that the new year will herald hopes and aspiration with Gangai, bringing in peace and harmony to one and all in the state. Chief Minister Nong Thumbam Biren also greeted the Zelengrong community on the occasion of Gangai. In his message, the Chief Minister wished that the festival brings happiness and prosperity and spread the message of unity, love, peace and brotherhood among all the communities in the state. He said he joins the people in the celebration. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar also greeted the people on the occasion of Gangai. In his message, Joy Kumar said the post-harvest and thanksgiving festival reminds the people that the kindness and blessings of God which gives us joy and contentment. He said the festival is a way of revering the ancestors. He wished that the festival brings prosperity, peace and harmony in the state. The Deputy Chief Minister also wished the people of Manipur a happy and prosperous New Year 2018.
Minister Thaunodjam Shyam Kumar and Narya Pakhanglakpa MLA Soibam Subhas Chandra also greeted the people on the occasion of uh, Imoi Nu Irat Numit and Gangai Festival. Manipur ki tongan tongan ba alu singda irat puja asna ing batapa dharma ke na balai taba semiro marang kai ba su monom ba amadi mahi masingda hena imoi nu imana pi bilam ba wisnu jailong jati ki sahi khudingi dem jatharak pa sumba festival asna manipur ki tongan tongan ba dharma sapa langu sapa mayam singa da gangai lak ba da nungsina ba dharma ke na balai taba manipur da shanti lai ba urasnu na da yektana amaga amaga tharum lina dana punna koi lemina dana praja singi Singer Pacudima, I go amat to winner. Leminadana, and who would say he would taram, Oxabagar Lunana, the Manipurgi, Praza Punamukta, Naria Pakang, Napoki, and the Emilia Mawina, Wapamasha in Manipur Praza Punam, Kimapunda, Manipur Praza Miam, the Yapo Pogi and Pijari. North East India Development Party and IDP in a press release wished the people on the occasion of Gangai, which is the biggest festival of the Lingrong community. NEIDP wish that the festival will bring prosperity, love and unity among the people. Socialist uh, Students Union of Manipur and Shiv Sena Manipur State also wish the people of Manipur a happy new year and hope that the new year will bring in peace, harmony and prosperity in the state. Disabled Welfare Development Association Takil Mayai Lekai with the assistance from five uh, Jammu and Kashmir Rifles Patsoi Army Camp distributed food and other items to differently abled persons and widows at Tupo Lampag in Takil Kongpal Mayai Lekai today. Speaking at the event, Education Minister T.H. Uh, Radesham stated that helping the poor and destitute do not come with richness alone, but one needs to have a sacrificial spirit to do the same. He said that there are many governmental schemes available for the downtrodden. Wishing the people on the occasion of New Year, Radesham assured that he would take he would uh, put all out efforts to take up welfare works and projects under the Labour Department and Social Welfare Department. Blankets, food items and financial assistance were given to the widows at the event. Social Welfare Department is a very important Labour Department is a skill development Tawiaba associations in Lera Magadi, Adu Soi Pana, one is again, Adu Tungaso, Aigi, Angunda, La Piraga in a Mating Pamu number, a quick measure sat in a higher Madumana in a Sukaki Tawiaba, no Kopono Hagodo, I won as again. Oja Sanajauba Memorial Trust organized the 7th Oja Sanajauba Memorial Lecture on the 72nd birth anniversary of Professor N. Sanajauba at Lamyan Bashanglen Palace Compound today. Several speakers spoke on Manipur of a People, Proxies and Prudence at the lecture held on the theme Ideologue and Vanguard of the 21st Century Manipuri Identity. Vice Chancellor of Central Agricultural University, Iroi Shemba, Professor M. Premjit and Scholar Professor Professor Rambam Lokendra were among those present at the event. The 10th anniversary of Miyamgi Luching Purel Chingshubam Akaba was held today by Luching Purel Chingshubam Akaba Sing Song Loop and Mitei Iyeg Irol Loina Silol Apunbal Loop Bilal at the Citizens Club Soibam Lekai. Speaking at the event, at as a chief guest, Leshemba Sanajauba stressed the responsibility of the people to carry forward his ideologies. He also announced that a hall in memory of Akaba will be constructed very soon. Floral tributes were also offered to the late leader with the rituals at Wakha Lemaching. Gifts were presented to 40 persons who were closely associated with Akaba. This year's uh, Chingsubam Akaba Sing Song Mana was awarded to Laihau Thabam Ningol, Tokchom Ongbi, Jiban Mala. An audio CD titled Oja, sung by Tapta, was also released at the event. Residents of Kasham Tong, Ilangbam Lekai, and JC formed against the death of Ningtaujam Lanchen Ba from Kasham Tong, Ilangbam Lekai, a student of Extra H School in Ghari Estate, a sit in at Kasham Tong today. It may be recalled that Ningtaujam Lanchen Ba died after falling from a moving school bus yesterday. Residents of the locality and family members of Ningtaujam Lanchen Ba took part in the sit in. Various placards were displayed at the protest.
Thaubal District Legal Services Authority under the aegis of Manipur Legal Service Authority opened a legal aid clinic at Wangu Ahalup Chiteg Lekai today. Chairman of Vishnupur District Legal Service Authority and District and Sessions Judge C.H. Brajat Chant inaugurated the legal aid clinic. A legal awareness program on Domestic Violence Act importance of legal aid clinic was also held. District and Sessions Judge uh, C.H. Brajat Chant said there are 13 legal aid clinics in Vishnupur District including the one inaugurated in Wangu today. He said the legal clinic will be of great help for the people in the area. Ima Imoinu Irat Thauni is being celebrated across the state today. Inata Yokat Loop Iriol also organized the 9th Ima Imoinu Irat Thauni Thauram at the ground of Singjamai Okram Lekai Youth Club. People of the locality offered fruits and vegetables to Ima Imoinu. It is all a wish that the day brings peace and prosperity in the state. Maite Inat Lining Lon Yeg Tijinba Apunba Milit Wangjing also celebrated Ima Lainbi Imoinu Irat Thauni at Wangjing Volleyball Ground in Thaubal. People offered seasonal fruits and vegetables to the goddess of wells and prayed for a prosperous Manipur. Hamom Dhani from Jiribam narrated the tale of Imai Moinu on the occasion. Imai Moinu Irat was also observed in the border town More today. More Meite Lai Thaugal Loop and Masa Singh Loop celebrated the day. Lamps were lit in every household and rituals conducted to mark the day and seek blessings in More this evening. Apunba Sinmi Loop Ghari Airport Road presented gifts to elderly women of the area on the occasion of Ima Imoinu Ira Thauni today. Now it's time for a small commercial break. Minister Thaunajam Shamkumar announced that the Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department is going to introduce various schemes in 2018. We will be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Minister Thaunajam Shyam Kumar announced that Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department is prepared to introduce various central and state schemes in 2018. He was speaking at the yearly calendar release event of the department at his office chamber at New Secretariat today. He also appeals to all to take the benefits of the schemes and produce quality agricultural yields. One day awareness program was held today in connection with the nationwide Swatch Survection Competition to be held in January 2018. The awareness program was jointly organized by Imphal Municipal Corporation and Watt Development Committee, Watt No. 27, at Naurenpong Kulem Lekai Samushang Community Hall. Resource persons spoke on the roles and responsibilities of the people in the Swatch Survection Competition at the awareness program. Awareness on how to use green buckets to convert the kitchen waste into manure was also raised at the event. Altogether, 4,041 cities and towns will take part in this nationwide competition. Commissioner of IMC T.H. Hari Kumar, Assistant Commissioner T.H. Rabindra and Corporator of IMC Watts No. 27, Hirojit Ngangomba were among those present at the event. One day free heart camp was held at International Medical Store IMS in Kakching District yesterday as part of the ongoing district level free heart camp. The camp was conducted by Sky Group of Hospitals in collaboration with Manipur Heart Foundation under the supervision of Chairman and Chief Cardiologist of Sky Group of Hospitals Dr. L. Sham Kishore by a team led by consultant of uh, Sky Hospitals and Research Center Dr. Bhavesh Talera. Around 160 persons got free heart OPD, ECG, high BP detection, diabetes detection tests at the camp. Free medicines were also distributed at the camp. All Manipur Manpower Upliftment Center has condoled the sudden demise of its founder president Haubam Sanajauba Mite from Kiamgai Mamanglekai. Members of the center observed a one-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada has co-opted two 
executive members of the coalition to strengthen its drive against the use and sale of intoxicants in the state today. President in charge of Kada, Hijam Piriyo Kumar, administered the out of office to Takelambam Ongbi Purnima and Salam Premchan as new executive members. Matamgi Manglan, a poetry book by Lenin Kumancha, was released at Manipur Hindi Parishad on Old Assembly Road today. President of Manipuri Sahitya Parishad, Professor Nomai Tim Tombi, Director of Language Planning and Implementation, Dr. L. Mahabir, and Principal of Wisdom Foundation, L. Soba, launched the book. Imphal-based uh, trash metal band Lucifer X's first extended play project Extermination was released at Manipur Press Club today. The album contains five songs based on the current issues in the state. The band's guitarist Chand, vocalist Lam Jingba, drummer Angu and bassist Birjit, fans and well-wishers were present at the event. It may be mentioned that band Lucifer X was established in December 12, 2012. Indigenous People Association of Kangley Pal, IPALK, uh, released its calendar for 2018 at its office in Kashampat, Kasham Lekai today. IPALK has been engaged in protection of rights of the indigenous people in the state. Kongba Maru Laifumlen Apunba Semgat Loop held this uh, annual meeting in connection with the restoration of Kongba Maru Laifumlen, which is one of the nine sacred places in Manipur, with Arambam Ningthem Jao Luang in the chair yesterday. New executive members of the Loop were also elected at the meeting. Uniforms were distributed to 1,350 VDF personnel posted at 21 various posts in Bishnupur district today. District police distributed the uniforms under the supervision of SP Jogesh Chandra at SP Bishnupur office complex. SP Bishnupur Jogesh Chandra Haubujam said the uniforms were distributed so that the VDF personnel can perform their duties in proper uniforms to avoid confusion and untoward incidents between the general public and police personnel. He warns that action will be taken against the VDF personnel who do not wear the uniform. Now news from the world of sports. Home team Neroka FC and Giants East Bengal were drawn 1-1 in a Hero I-League match at the Kumanlampak Main Stadium. Both the teams fought to tooth and nail throughout the match. For East Bengal, the moment of rejoice came in 11th minute when Trinidad and Tobago Stills striker Willis Dion Plaza going through the right side of the D-box. He passed the ball crossing through Neroka FC defenders at the goal mount and East Bengal Japanese striker Katsumi Yusa found the net with a volley making a noisy home crowd bewildered with one lead. The first half belonged to the East Bengal who outplayed the horse by adopting an aggressive approach. Though Neroka FC too had a few good chances, they lacked the required shooting power from outside the box. The horse will consider themselves fortunate as as uh, East Bengal strikers could not convert a few close chances. In the, in the 28th minute of the match, Khalid Zamil, head coach of East Bengal, trying to put more pressure to home team replace Prakash Sarkar with Mohammad Rafiq. Neroka FC replaced Israel Lov Akil Din with a Nido Turkovic, but they failed to equalize in the first half. In the meantime, Govind Singh of Neroka FC was shown yellow card for obstructing Katsumi Yusa in the 31st minute of the match. In the 44th minute, East Bengal striker W.L. Plaza was injured and was replaced by Charles D'Souza. Neroka FC were clearly the most aggressive side in the second half as they constantly created openings and their best chance came in the 16th minute when a corner kick from Saran Singh was found by Vor B. Sean Francis at the goal mouth but he failed to convert into a goal. Further in the concluding part of the match, Neroka FC goal star Ronald was brought in place of Gopi Singh. For Bengal side, El Chuloba was replaced by S. Molik. In the 90th minute of the match, Neroka FC equalized the goal when Nido Terkovic found the ball on the left of the D-box and netted the goal. The home crowd winners heated exchange of words between the coaches. Even the referee warned his Bengal coach to stay within his given boundary. Neroka FC will face Young Indian Arrows team on the 5th of next month at Kumanlampak Main Stadium.
Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Birin proposes ring road flyovers to ease traffic congestion at review meeting of national highway projects. Health Minister Jendra Kumar lays foundation stone for the first ever homeopathy college in Manipur. Green's director, Professor Shanta, says a fee for some investigations like CT scan, MRI will be reduced up to 50%. Three cadres of United Naga People Council, Chingtam Liberation Army, allegedly involved in Modbun kidnapping, arrested. And the home team Neroka FC and Giants East Bengal drawn 1-1 in the match of Hero I League at Kumanlampang.